Hi, this is Marto. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Karras and Miguel Neidorf. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Gothenburg, Sweden, in 1955. Paul Karras had white pieces, and he started with e4. Neidorf played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, black to move. What variation of the Sicilian defense Neidorf plays? Hmm? What would Neidorf play? He plays, of course, his own variation, called Neidorf variation. A6, bishop to g5, e6, f4, bishop to e7, queen to f3, this is the main line, h6, bishop to h4, black to move. Neidorf played super sharp g5 queen to c7 and knight from b to d7 are two most played moves neither played g5 f takes on g5 knight from f to d7 white to move if pawn takes pawn then bishop takes bishop winning for black. If white castles queenside, then knight to e5 attacking the queen. And after queen to f2, pawn takes pawn on g5. Black is okay. So how should white continue? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, hmm? I found a move that I like. It is queen to h5. If queen to h5, then knight to e5 carries sacrifice the knight. Hmm? Did you see this coming? Pawn takes knight, what else? And now queen to h5 check. Hunting black king. King to f8. White to move. How to continue? Keres played another incredible move. Can you find the move? Hmm? What would you do? This is what Keres played. Bishop to b5. Why? Can you see why? Vacating the square for the rook. If a takes on b5, then to g7, queen to f7, check mate. Hmm. So neither played king to g7. Chess experts found that rook to h7 is the best move, and after check, king goes to g8, and black is holding. That was after the game. In the game, we have king to g7. Keres castle kingside. If a takes on b5, queen to f7, check mate. So neither played knight to e5, defending f7. Attacking the defender, knight to g6, white to move, again, how to continue the attack. If pawn takes pawn, rook takes, attacking the queen. This is exactly what Keres did. Check, rook takes on h6, and now white queen is under attack from the rook, and bishop on b5 is also under attack. 
is white in trouble. What now? What would you do? Is white losing a piece? Keres played rook to f7 check, deflecting black king from defending the rook. So we have a king takes rook, queen takes rook, pawn takes bishop. Keres attacked fearlessly and in the process ended two pieces down. Hmm? Look at the position. White has a safer king, do you agree? And a better activity of the pieces. Black has more pieces, so black is better materially. But black king is not safe. Which side would you take? If you take white side, you have to attack until you win. Because if king, if black king gets to safety, black will win. The game continued. Rook to f1 check. King to e8. Queen takes on g6 check. King to d7. Rook to f7, pinning the bishop. But now knight to c6, defending the bishop. And it looks like that black is holding. How to continue? What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find this brilliant move that Keras played. Another brilliant move. What did you find? Did you find this brilliant knight move? Knight to d5. What a move! Of course, knight of considered pawn takes knight. I didn't like it, so play, he played rook takes pawn on a2. What's wrong with pawn takes knight? Let's have a look. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes on d6, check. King to e8, queen to g6, bishop to e6, rook takes bishop, discovered check. King takes rook, what else? Then bishop to h4, king to d7, Bishop takes queen, rook takes bishop, e takes on d5, bishop takes pawn, h4, rook to g8, queen to f5, check. And white is winning, believe it or not. Okay. That is why. Neither of captured the pawn on a2. White move, how to continue to attack now? Keres played h4, queen to h8, black cracks under tremendous pressure. It's difficult for a black to find a good move anyway. Well, let's have a look what else. Well, this is kind of a position that you are not sure what is the best move. And if you don't know what to do, push the pawn. That's one possibility. Another one is perhaps rook takes pawn. Then e5. Okay. In the game we have a queen to h8 and it is not obvious why it's a bad move. But you will see shortly why. First move. Knight takes on e7. Knight takes knight. White to move. White play the move and black resigned. The move is queen to g5, threatening queen or rook takes knight. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Queen to d8, defending the knight. Very sensible move. But then queen takes on b5, check. King to c7, queen to c4, check, forking the king and the rook. After king to b8, queen takes rook. White is better materially and has a better position. What happened in this game? Neidorf played his own variation, variation that he knows very well. 
and he got annihilated by imaginative Paul Kellis. I hope you appreciate Kellis chess skills and I hope that you learn something from it. What do you think of this game? And that is all. Bye for now.